Okay, we're going to now build that same benefits enrollment and change form using GTE Forms 3.1. And you'll see that there are several ways that we can do a little bit better. First, we can default information in. We can not show the uh, human resources fields to the person who's filling out the form originally. And we can actually accomplish an, the entry of the form with very few fields because we can default in this display name so we know who it's for. So if they decline coverage, that's really all they have to do. Uh, we already know who it's for and we don't have to fill out any more fields. And we can route. Filling it out again with an enrollment, you can see we have all the information for this person. We can default that in from PeopleSoft data so we don't have to fill out that information. When we elect for additional life insurance, then it actually dynamically expands additional fields that otherwise wouldn't apply. Same with spouse or domestic partner coverage. And as we fill these out, we'll have uh, additional ch fields that will appear so we can elect appropriate coverage. We can also gather information in grids, which Forms and Approval Builder cannot do. We can upload attachments if we wish, make an acknowledgement and submit, and we've completed the form again. We've also kept a signature log of everything that's happened. So that's the second tool. You pick the tool that matches the need. In this case, I think the need fits this tool better. Thanks for watching.